I'd like to now cover the muscles that cross the shoulder joint. To give you an orientation, here we're seeing the deltoid muscle. I am turning the arm model posteriorly so that you could see the scapular spine. This muscle above or superior to the scapular spine is the supraspinatus. Its origin is in the supraspinous fossa, the scapula. Its insertion is the greater tubercle of the humerus, and its action is to abduct and stabilize the humerus. The next muscle below the scapular spine is the infraspinatus. The infraspinatus has its origin in the infraspinous fossa, and its insertion is also on the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its action is lateral rotation of the humerus. The next muscle I'd like to show you is underneath the scapula. It's deep to it, and this is the subscapularis. The subscapularis has its origin in the subscapular fossa of the scapula and its insertion on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. Its action is medial rotation of the humerus and stabilizes the shoulder joint. Turning the model posteriorly again, the next muscle I'd like to show you is the teres major. Its origin is on the posterior surface of the inferior angle of the scapula and it inserts onto the lesser tubercle of the humerus. It is a synergist to the latissimus dorsi. It extends, adducts, and medially rotates the arm. The next muscle is the teres minor. The teres minor has its origin on the lateral border of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its action is lateral rotation of the humerus. Continuing on, this muscle right here is the deltoid muscle. Its origin is on the clavicle, the acromion process of the scapula, and the scapular spine. Its insertion is on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus, and its action is to abduct the arm. 